Hello, this is Mark and welcome to another video. This is take 19 of how to time subtitles in Spot. There are different ways of doing this, different methods. I'm going to show you my method because it's something I'm very uh, familiar with. Uh, I would normally do it on a subtitle by subtitle basis, meaning I would do my first subtitles in time and then I would translate the text or transcribe the text if it's a template, and then do the out time and then go down to the next subtitle, make a new subtitle but because I'm a horribly slow typist and because the keyboard isn't that near where I'm sitting, I've already done the text part. I've translated 10 subtitles here already. So all that needs to be done is the timing part, not the, uh, not the typing part. Uh, back in the 16th century, we used to use the F11 and F12 keys to grab the in and out cues. They're still uh, usable. You can still use F11 and F12 for in and out, but if you do, you'll notice that after about an hour, your right hand locks up in the most painful cramp and you start developing early uh, arthritis. So to combat that, for health and safety reasons, we have another shortcut, which is for the in cue, shift and enter on the numpad, and for the out cue, shift and ints on the numpad. And if you're not a big fan of the uh, shift key, it's a much maligned key, then click on media here, preferences, click on the media control tab and select this option here. And by selecting that option, you're opting not to use shift. So you'll just be using enter on the numpad for the in queue and ints on the numpad for the out queue. But I like the shift combination, so I don't uh, have that selected at all. So we're nearly ready, but there is one thing uh, missing and that's the, the waveform the waveform is not being shown. And that's because I didn't, again, in media preferences on the general tab, I didn't or don't have this second option selected, process audio data when first opening a video file. If I did have that option selected, then every time I open a new video, Spot will automatically generate the waveform for me. I don't have it selected, which means I have to generate it manually. And I do that by clicking on the options button here on the timeline. And then I click process audio data. So we're, we're just about ready. I'm going to put my headphones on and I'll show you how I uh, would subtitle, let's say the first three subtitles here. Keep your eyes on the timeline here and this yellow line. The yellow line is the current video position and the green blobs are the guy speaking. So let's press play. Ooh. Right, that's the first subtitle. And so it begins, let's just say about there. So we're going to grab that in queue with shift and enter on the numpad. Grab the in queue. Let's play again. Right, and that's lasting now nearly just over four seconds. That's long enough. So let's grab the out queue, shift and ints. Good. And let's pop down to the next subtitle. Now there's another option which I don't have selected. If you go to tools, options, cue editing in the middle here, if you select this option, page down to next subtitle after grabbing out cue, then I wouldn't have had to press page down after I grabbed this out cue here. It would have done so automatically. Headphones back on and let's look at subtitle two. And let's say that starts there. So shift and enter. Now I'm not going to do the out cue for this subtitle. I'm going to page down to the next subtitle, press play and find the start of subtitle three, which is here. And then I'm going to press control and enter and what, watch what happens. I've grabbed the in cue for this new subtitle. These are the tanks. And I've also set the out cue for the last subtitle. So instead of having to do the out cue and then come down and do the in cue, with a simple uh, combination, control, enter, I've grabbed the in cue and I've set the out cue to the last subtitle to within three frames. That's my default interval of this subtitle. And again, headphones back on.
play. And subtitle four begins there in the middle. So let's page down again and control enter. I've set the out cue for the last subtitle and I've grabbed the in cue for this subtitle. Play. Right, and that's enough time that finishes there. So control, uh, sorry, shift and ints, grab the out cue. So there, I've timed those four subtitles. They've appeared on the timeline as well. You can see them here, they're visible. Uh, and that's basically it. That's uh, my method of, of timing in spot. Sorry, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention as well about uh, timing subtitles, when you finish timing them, it's obviously a very good idea to review your work, to review what you've done. And to do that, you press F8 to, to switch to rehearse mode. So it's F8, switch to rehearse mode, and then just play. And Spot will start playing the file and it will show you or give you a very good preview of what will happen when this is actually broadcast. Because it shows you when the subtitles come in, like that. And when they come out, just like that and come in again. Any questions? then please post a message to our spot group or even leave a comment down there in the comment section.